Hey guys and welcome to the channel. So today we are going to write an amazing invoice parser automation with NNN and Llama Cloud. We are using Llama Cloud because it has got cool parsing rack which is extremely powerful. It's overly accurate when it comes to any parameters and today we are going to focus our attention on invoices. How the automation works is I have an invoice looking like that basically it contains line items information, amount due, and things like that. So I'm going to place uh, the invoice to my Google Drive. After that, uh, once it's loaded, I'm going to wait for a while. And after waiting, I check my database and I can see it's saved both invoice and line items. So let's get to the automation. The automation itself consists of two pieces and the first one is just Google Drive trigger which watches whatever happening in my invoice folder and there is a new one, it just uploads the file and then uploads it to um, Llama Cloud for parsing. The second one is going to work with parsed results so it will be sent here once it's done and then it's going to create both invoice and line items. So now let's take a closer look at it. So in the first piece, we're going to set up Google Drive trigger, which watches for whatever file created in specific folder. In my case, it's for invoices. Once there is a new file, we uh, download this file, just setting up over here the ID. The next is HTTP request to Llama Cloud, which uploads the file to Llama Cloud for parsing. And there are a few parameters to note. Uh, basically over here, I'm setting headers like application JSON, um, authorization bearer plus our API key, and parsing instruction, where I'm saying I need specifically uh, line items, like parameters, like name, quantity, unit price, and amount. And at the very end, I'm setting up uh, form data, and uh, over here there is the webhook URL, uh, which is URL of the webhook where the data parsed will be sent once uh, it's done. And additionally, there is a file uh, where I'm just specifying a file from Google Drive, and few more parameters uh, like disable OCR and disable image extraction just to reduce costs. Once the file is parsed, it's going to be sent uh, to webhook to the second piece of the Now let's take a look at the second piece. So um, over here we've got a logic to process uh, parsed extracted data. And the first step is webhook, uh, the webhook URL is uh, what we set up over here uh, in this webhook URL section. And if uh, I take a look at one of the successful execution and just check incoming data, I can see that data processed uh, contains really so many parameters. It has got invoice number, it has got organization name, it has got billing information and so on. And at the very end, there is info about line items, which I need to extract. I'm going to use a GPT chat completion request um, to extract all the relevant information about line items. And before that, I'm going to set up parameters for that just for comfortable purposes in this module. Uh, I'm going to set up prompt, which uh, gives GPT instruction, and I'm going to set up schema, uh, where I'm saying to GPT that I would like an array of objects representing items with their descriptions, quantities, prices, and amounts. And the next step, I'm going to set up a GPT completion request, which um, basically accepts the following parameters. It um, accepts model, it accepts um, messages where I'm specifying um, 
system message with a prompt. I specified just a step ago. Uh, then I'm specifying um, content from our webhook and also uh, the schema, which was also set up just a step ago. If I open up uh, a successful execution and check out the uh, response from GPT, I will see that it returns uh, information about uh, items and it's all uh, for now looks like just uh, a single string which we're going to work on also in a while. Before that, we're going to uh, use uh, Airtable module for creating record and here we are just creating an invoice uh, nothing complicated uh, and set up any fields over here so just creating record then i would like to mm, process uh, the data which i got from gpt which is uh, a string and turn it into an uh, array of uh, line items and so this is what i'm doing here with just a bit of coding and what it does it literally uh, returns an array of objects and this is what it looks like. Finally, at the last step, I'm going to use uh, again Airtable create record module uh, and now for uh, creating line item. And over here, I'm specifying all the parameters from the previous step, which is description, quantity, unit price, amount, and invoices uh, from the step before that and, and that's pretty much it so if you face any questions or difficulties please let me know in comments i will be happy to help and also if you found this video enjoyable please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and uh, thank you for watching see you again